During the Vietnam War, hundreds of American aviators were shot down, imprisoned, and tortured for as many as eight long years. We had no experience in North Vietnam. I was the first guy. United States aircraft have resumed action in North Vietnam. I was flying wing on the lead, and it, it, it just started to hit me. Hey, we're going into war. My, my knees started to shake. I couldn't stop them. You know. When I was hit, everything filled up with smoke. Every emergency came on, and I could tell my wing started to come off because I couldn't control it. So I pulled the ejection curtain, and I, and I went out. I felt the chute extend, the parachute extended, popped open, and within two, two, three seconds, I was in the water. Exactly 50 years ago, the Nixon administration saved 591 of those prisoners of war from North Vietnamese captivity. The problem of those who were held prisoner in North Vietnam is one of enormous concern to us. We certainly are going to keep this very much high on the agenda and work toward a solution of it at any peace settlement if we can get one. I felt the possibility of being killed was fairly high, but being a prisoner of war, I felt, was very small. My mom meets me at the door and she said, Michael, let's go back to your room. I need to, I need to talk to you. And then she told me that he had been shot down over the jungles of North Vietnam and that they were going to go in that afternoon to rescue him. And that was the last word we heard for the next three years. Early 66 is when they started coming, the, the physical stuff, for these sessions, torture sessions. They wanted to know what targets were coming, and we didn't know. We didn't have what they were asking for. When you heard the guy coming with his keys jangling, especially at night, you knew somebody was going to go out. And you prayed it wasn't you, and if it was you, you just had to face it. Our eventual goal is a total withdrawal of all outside forces. But as long as North Vietnam continues to hold a single American prisoner, we shall have forces in South Vietnam. The American prisoners of war will not be forgotten by their government. This is the premier podcast from the Richard Nixon Presidential Library in partnership with Foundwave Productions, created in honor of Ross Perot Sr. Captured, shot down in Vietnam.